All right, good morning, everybody. Mr. Spencer, Mr. Conrad back. Today we're gonna to talk about some acceleration. Mr. Con I have a curious question. Okay. What would be your dream car to drive? 1969 Mustang, cherry red. Cherry red? Yep. Okay. So I hadn't thought about going old school yeah. like that, but yeah. I would definitely say a Mustang and it has to be, I would like, currently I would love to get like a GT500 just to go oh, and just let it loose. Uh, however, a couple years ago, uh -huh. I wanted to drive an Audi R8 V10. Oh, man. so like a supercar, a, a V10. It was, it was, it was awesome. Wait, it was awesome, which means I actually did, it. did that. So here is a video of me uh, when I went to Las Wait, Vegas. Wait, so this is you. Yep, yeah, I am driving this car. Like I just have the the, the front view of looking out the windshield. Uh -huh. This looks like a video game. It's not. So this is the uh, Audi R8 V10, and this is a road course that I did uh -huh. out in Las Vegas. So I had to pay to drive the car around the Motor Speedway, and you can see here uh, my best lap was uh, just under a minute, and I got up to 184 kilometers per hour, oh, which kilometers. was like a hundred, which is about uh, about 114, okay. 115 miles an hour on the straightaway. And just going around the curve, we went down to like 60 in some spots, and then get back up to like 140 in others. So I can't believe they trusted you with that car. Oh, they had other cars there too. They had like Lamborghinis, they had McLarens. Man. It was so much fun. That's a little uh, bit better than my Nissan. Yeah, so much. it's a lot better than my my truck too. It can take corners. So like we were taking, I was taking corners at 50 kilometers an hour, which is yeah. like you know what about. 25 uh -huh. roughly 25 miles an hour like really really fast so it was crazy but we're showing them this video just uh -huh. because if we were to watch it again whoops if we were to watch it again you would see how I accelerate uh -huh. from like 60 miles an hour to 180 there was that speedometer right? yeah the speedometer was on there so it showed how fast I accelerated now we're gonna go over the guess method again mm -hmm. um, because it kind of helps us remember how right. to actually work through the questions. Uh, again, what is given to you is our G, uh -huh. unknown for the U, your equation. So we're going to give you two different equations today to work through. And then obviously we're going to substitute into the equation and then we're going to solve. Okay. So acceleration, as we were talking about just a second ago, measures how the speed of an object changes over time. So when I hit the accelerator in there, we went from like 60, 70 mm -hmm. kilometers per hour to 180 kilometers an hour in a matter of seconds. Because you could so, see that needle moving. Yeah, that needle moved a lot when I was uh -huh. doing it. Because then when I would go around that corner, I would you would see the needle drop. So right. that means I'm decelerating or negative at acceleration. negative acceleration. Um, so and it's not and a lot of people get confused on this because it's um, you saw you see a lot of meters per second per second like well, what does that oh, mean oh gotcha but if you think about it is you're changing a velocity every second. single second so that's why we have this 10 miles per, per hour per every second, second. so I, I like how you did that because yeah if you see meters per second per second or meters per second squared a lot of people look at that and they're like i have no idea what that means well think about it if you think about it in the miles per hour it's like how are the miles per hour changing every second so if mm -hmm. you have an acceleration of 10 miles per hour every second at zero seconds let's say you're you're at zero well after one second you'd be at 10 miles per hour mm -hmm. after two seconds you'd be at 20 miles per cool. hour three seconds 30 miles per hour I so think that makes a lot more sense that usually can ring true okay so here's our first equation uh, so acceleration as we said it's a speed of an object over a change in time so usually that is velocity divided by time which gets our meters per second squared or meters per second per second mm -hmm. or it could be miles per hour per right. second or kilometers per hour per second or something a like that. A unit of speed a per unit, unit of, of time. Of, unit of speed per unit of time. Now, there is another one because what uh -huh. is the world is this VF and VI? Oh, you've got your final velocity, your uh, initial velocity. Wait, where are you get an initial and a final from? There's no final and there's no initial. It's well, just that's the VF. F. Oh. F stands for final. F stands for final and I stands I initial. Starting. Thanks for reminding me. I, I you know what? I look out for you. So the other equation is A is equal to V final minus V initial. 
I always do capital letters just because uh-huh. that's how I've always done it. And then we divide by T, which is time. You know what? Just a, just a little math thing because I know you're the math guy. I, I, I've I seen some of my physics students make the, the mistake when they're doing it. They do VF minus VI divided by T, which sounds okay, but if you're doing it on like order of operations, you need to make sure that the VF minus the VI has the little brackets around it because we want to see how the like velocity that. is changing. There you yeah, go. Yeah, because if you access, like if you're plugging this in the calculator, let's say our V final is 10, our V initial is, let's say, 3, mm-hmm. and our time is 2. If you just do 10 minus 3 divided by 2, the calculator is going to do 3 divided by 2, first, and then yeah. it's going to subtract 10 from that. Yeah. So you got to make sure we do that first, go. and then we divide by 2. Yep. All right, let's take a look at these questions okay. here real quick. So it says, calculate the acceleration of a car that goes from rest to 100 kilometers per hour in 12.5 seconds. So I'm looking at that, and I see like the givens. I see 100 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we have a given. We have 100 kilometers mm-hmm. per hour. I see a time of 12.5 seconds. And then I think to myself, but wait, Mr. Mr. Conrad, you said that we have to have V final minus V initial divided by time. I don't see any other numbers there. So that's where you have to actually read the question. Okay, and you see where it says it goes we got, from. We got this part. We uh-huh. got this part. But it says the part. The the tricky part is it says the car goes from rest. Rest. Yep. So what is happening at rest? Well, that means my V initial would be mm-hmm. zero, zero kilometers so, per hour. There you go, and that means that the hundred kilometer. That's our V final, and this would be like the same thing as if you see like it comes to a stop. Well, it doesn't say it comes zero, to a stop, but. Yeah, so we have A equals, so V final, so we got 100, so that's going to go in for V final, so we have 100. And then I'm just I'm leaving the units off right now just because I want us to have a little bit more room. Somebody complained yesterday about my amazing penmanship. So V final, or V initial is there, so we're going to do minus 0. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to divide that by my time, which is 12.5 seconds, seconds, which is going to go in for T. So then I do minus divided by 12.5. Now... We did. I didn't have a key made up before this, uh-huh. so you're gonna have okay. to help me out with some of these. One hundred divided by. Well, we do one hundred minus zero, which is just zero, still one hundred, and then we divide by twelve point five. I want to say that's eight. Oh, boom, eight. You got your math down. Okay. I'm so proud of you. So, so it's you eight. Got eight, but eight what? Ah, we gotta use units. Well, we're dealing with kilometers per hour, so we mm-hmm. gotta do kilometers per hour, and we're talking about seconds. So. Our velocity is changing eight kilometers an hour every, every second. single second. So we're going to add S down to the end like okay. that. All right, guys. Now, some of these might be a little different, but the concept is staying the same. So you're, right. you're going to look for V final, V initial, and your time. Yep. Okay. So the next one, it says calculate the acceleration. So again, if I, I always liked writing the equation down because then I can yeah. just do, okay, I got V final minus V initial. And I have my time, so I already know my A is what I'm solving because it says yep. calculate the acceleration. It says a car that goes from 60, so it starts, so that would be my initial, right? Because it says the mm-hmm. car goes from 60, so VI is 60 miles per hour to 30, so V final. I don't know why I did that. It was just more it fun. Happens. That, it It does. V final, there we go is 30 miles per hour mm. and it says time is five seconds okay okay so and again we have to substitute our stuff in here so v final oh wait that's v initial that that's goes v here initial, yeah so that's gonna be a little different v final goes there and then my time goes down here uh-huh. so we have acceleration so a equals we have what 30 30. And then we have minus 60, mm. and then we divide, uh, this is gonna look weird. This is. But if we just do our math, we should be okay, right? So 60, thir- it's not 60 minus 30, because no, we're, 30 minus we're 60. slowing down. Yeah. So this should be a negative number here, yep. correct? So then we're gonna divide that by five, 
So this is this is guys, you are gonna end up having some. So this is miles per hour divided by seconds. Uh-huh. Okay. So so yeah, when we think about this, the negative just means that it's slowing down. Yes. That that yes. instead of because positive is speeding, speeding up, up. Negative, negative is, is slowing, slowing down. down. It doesn't mean that it's going in the it's going backwards. Yes, so we don't actually know which way this car is going or if right. it's getting closer to where it started or further away. It's just we know it's slowing down right. at six miles per hour every single second. Sounds good. They hit the brakes. All right, so how fast is a car moving? Uh oh, so this time we're finding a velocity, it sounds okay. like. Okay, yep. So moving in meters per second, if the 10 second mark, at the 10 second mark, excuse me, if it accelerates at two meters per second per second from a position of rest. Oh boy. So, so there's a lot going on there. There's a lot going on here. So let's just start off with writing my equation because that's always a good place to start, just because then I can start looking for those different variables. Mm -hmm. Well, it says how fast. So I know this unknown. Where are you going? It's the stupid yeah, okay. light sensor. Thing. I know. So we're going to have one of our velocities is our unknown here. So we're going to have to uh -huh. work backwards here. All right. So it tells us at the 10 second mark. So we know my time is 10 seconds. So we have time is 10 seconds. It accelerates, so it tells me my acceleration is two meters per second per second. So every single second, it's increasing at two, two meters, meters per, per second, second. okay? Uh, and then uh, it's from a position of rest, so that tells me my V initial is zero meters per second. Okay. So we're looking for our V final. Oh, okay. V final. So again, this is going to be look a little different, but the concept is still there. Let's just plug, substitute our values in here. So we have an acceleration of 2, so that's going to go into here. So we're going to do 2 meters per second per second equals V final. We do not know, that's so that's what we're going to try and sign for, V final minus our V initial. Well, this makes life a little bit easier because it is zero. Okay. So whoop, that goes in there. So this is zero meters per second. And then we're going to divide that by my time, which is 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So 10 seconds, that goes right there. So we're going to divide by 10 seconds. Okay. So how are we going to work through this? Um, we got to solve for fine. We, we, have, we need to solve for VF. But what are we doing to the VF and the okay. V final? The V initial and V final, we are both dividing by 10. Mm -hmm. So how do we undo division, you guys? We do times then by 10 seconds on both sides. So that, so That's by cool. multiplying, that undoes my, this is the reciprocal right. of division. So now I gotta make sure I times on both sides because what you do to one side, you must do to the other. So 10 times two, last time we checked, was just be 20. 20 meters per second. Because if we times by a second, uh -huh. and we are dividing by a second, that's gonna cancel one of those out. Oh. That's how that works out like that. Yeah. So now we're just left with V final minus zero meters per second. Well, that's if easy. it's just zero, <laughs> that's just 20. Our V final equals 20, 20 meters, meters per, per second. second. Okay. okay, so it looks a lot more complicated, but it's it's not really that mm -hmm. bad if you just work through the equation like we just did. Right. Just substitute in, think of how can I undo multiplication or how can I yep. undo division. Okay, let's take it. This is our last one. So it says a car can accelerate at 12 miles per hour every second. Uh -huh. So 12 miles an hour every second. So you would go from like potentially zero uh -huh. to 12 to 24 yep. every single second. Okay. If the initial velocity is 15 miles per hour, how long will it take it to reach 75 miles gotcha. per hour? So this one, again, guys, I this, this is the way I like to do it. I like to start off with my equation uh, v initial, and then we divide that by time, because now I know, I see my variables, uh -huh. I can then go work my way through. And it tells us right off the get-go, my A is going to be 12 miles per hour per second. Uh -huh. And then it says initial velocity of 15, so my VI is going to be 15 miles per hour. Uh -huh. And to reach 75, so that means our final velocity is going to be 75 miles per and hour. And then we're solving for our time, so V final is going to be 
what did we say? It was 75, 75 miles per hour. Miles per hour. All right, so now, again, this is just a big substitution problem. So A, so we have 12 miles per hour per second mm -hmm. equals, and then we're going to have something over here, and let's do blue since I like blue. So V final is 75, so that 75 goes here, uh -huh. miles per hour, minus our 15 miles per hour, and then... Uh oh. oh, we gotta find our time. Time. Uh, oh, this is now. This always tends to throw people off because it's in the denominator. Yeah. Okay, but let's just take this one step at a time. Let's just do a quick simplification. Yeah. Let's just twelve miles per hour. So this side stays the same. Let's just simplify what's up here on top. Okay. So seventy-five minus seventeen. Last time we Earth checked, should be sixty. Sixty miles per hour. And then we have T. So now we don't have quite as much yeah. to deal with. But again, where is the T? It's in the denominator. So we're dividing 60 by time. Uh -huh. So again, to undo that, the opposite of division is multiplication. multiplication. So we're going to times both sides by T. Uh -huh. Okay. So then we would have T times 12 miles per hour per second is equal to 60 miles per hour. Uh huh. Okay, so then what are we? What's happening to t on this side? We're You're timesing it. Yeah. So to undo that, we would then divide, divide by twelve miles per hour per second. Oh, nice. Now notice our miles per hours cancel, mm -hmm. so that means we're just going to be left with seconds, which uh -huh. is what our goal was, was just to have t equals something seconds. Well, do you remember off the top of your head what sixty divided by twelve is? See that that'd be oh that's that'd be five. You sure? I hope so. It's five. <laughs> so we end up with five seconds for that one. So it took us five seconds to for it to go from fifteen miles per hour uh -huh. to seventy five nice. miles per hour. So it didn't take us that long. All right. Okay. Even your Nissan might be able to do I, that. We'll see. <laughs> All right, you guys. There you go. Have a good day.